Let's go to the phones. Well, hi, I'm the head coach of the Orangetown Assassins. He impressed the hell out of me last night. Come down to the ring tomorrow for a tryout. No, you're not joining the mouse capades, right? You're not trying enough for the, the what? The... Spit it out. Use your big boy words. Oh, no! Welcome to About the Flick. I'm Alonzo, Christy, Matt, and uh, we are all missing teeth to talk about Goon. <laughs> I have my fake teeth in for this one. Um, this was a real surprise. Sean William Scott, Sean playing very much against type as just like the sweet, guileless bar bouncer in Boston who becomes an unlikely hockey enforcer in Canada. And it is profane and bloody and hilarious. They call you thumb for Christ's sake. Hey, 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 hey. Boy popped a cherry tonight. What does that mean? I think that we both have a light in our stomachs. A special light, like E.T. My stomach light needs your stomach light. We can all phone home together. Okay, so this surprised me a great deal. I laughed my mm -hmm. ass off. Um, this was written by Evan Goldberg, who is Seth Rogen's usual writing, writing partner, partner right. and then and Jay Baruchel. Right. Who, who's in this. Who's and, in it. And it has some of the dirtiest dialogue I think we've heard in any movie oh, in a long time. He's so funny. And he's such a hockey nut. He's from Montreal. Like he live tweets Canadians games. And right. that shows in mm. every minute of this movie. Yeah, I know nothing about hockey, so you know my liking this is like my liking Moneyball. I can't, I have nothing to back it up. That's a good analogy. But just as far as like the actual movie goes, it's incredibly funny. A very, very charming and funny performance from Sean William Scott, who I think is is often underrated. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I know one of the few people on earth that liked Cop Out, but I think his performance mm -hmm. is wonderfully daffy, and he brings that same kind of just like unpredictable comic energy here. And 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 yeah, he plays a character who's. So sweet and, and guileless, like you said, like to the point where you just can't imagine that he exists in the world, but at the same time will beat the crap out of you right. without a, you know... A, with a, but, but he's but, polite about but it. But yes, for, right? the, for, for all the good <laughs> right? reasons. You, you know, ready to fight? Things. Yes, thank you for asking. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, I really like Liev Schreiber in this. I like Liev Schreiber in pretty much everything. Sure. Yeah. Right. And Liev Schreiber wearing the facial hair he should have worn as... Uh, Sabretooth in the Wolverine, in the Wolverine yeah. movie. Oh yeah, there's a lot of really, really bad facial hair in this movie, yeah. but, but, it, but not it's a lot relevant. of hair, though. No, there aren't a lot of mullets. You're right. There's a lot of really bad facial hair, but um, he brings just this gravitas as this aging enforcer on the verge of retirement, and just the voice and his presence. He's a very big guy. He's a very great, menacing. Yeah, a couple of great scenes with Sean William Scott where yes. he's you know passing the torch to him or whatever. Um, but he's also a badass. I also want to mention I really like Allison Alison Pill, Pill in this it's hysterical. because she's not just the girl as you're so fond of saying. Mm. You like saying the girl. Um, she's flawed and she's drunk and self-loathing, <laughs> right. but he loves her. And right, and she's got some of the best lines in the whole movie, yeah. right? Like when she says, oh no, I can't go out, I'm trying to cut back, and you see her you know, kick the, t the coffee table full of beer bottles, right? <laughs> or then she later says to somebody, you make me want to stop sleeping around with a bunch of guys. Like, <laughs> it's so romantic. Most, right? Yeah, I mean, the best thing I can say is this definitely has like a very ragged kind of slap shot vibe to it. And there are no great hockey movies in the world Beyond Slapshot. Slap yes. This is a very worthy successor. But it's, it's, I would but it's say. close. It's as close as we've gotten to a, a, to a Slapshot since Slapshot. Yes, I think this movie, I'm going to go out on a limb and be probably blasphemous. I think this movie is as good as Slapshot. Okay. Whoa, okay. I, I don't yeah. think that's right. wrong. I'm with you. That, that's fair. On that note, let's do numbers. numbers. Uh, 8.2. Nine. I'm also giving it a nine. Um, that's an 8.7. It's not that high in tomato it's world. No, it's 79%, but it's certified fresh. Good, and I hope so. more folks go see it. It's out on video on demand, has been for about a month, comes out theatrically this week. So if Goon is anywhere near your face, please go see it. Enjoy, <laughs> bye. <laughs>